Hey everyone, welcome to Aftershoot Academy. Justin here to tell you all about the differences between a JPEG profile and a RAW profile and how you can create both. JPEG profiles are tailored specifically towards JPEG files, whereas RAW profiles are designed to only edit RAW files. The main difference between the two for say something like white balance is that in a JPEG profile, you're gonna have a very limited range of how much you can change the white balance. With a raw profile, you can actually change the white balance significantly without seeing any degradation of color. When do you use each? It's a pretty simple explanation. On your memory card, the files that you take off, are they raw files or are they JPEG files? The same goes for creating profiles as well. When you're looking to build your own AI style, if the files you originally edited were raw images, we actually need those raw files to create the profile. Whereas if you shoot inside of your camera in JPEG format, we're gonna go ahead and use the JPEG format. Another really important aspect of making your own AI profile, if you shot in raw, edited the files and exported to JPEG, Aftershoot still needs to see the actual raw original files, not the final JPEGs. And the main reason being, it's looking at the before image and all the adjustments across it, which aren't available in a JPEG file. Whereas if you're creating a JPEG profile, we still need to see the adjustments made inside of your Lightroom catalog in order to understand how to replicate your style. Now, of course, if you have more questions about building your own AI profile or the difference between RAW and JPEG, be sure to reach out to our in-app support or leave a comment below.